Shalom, Shalom, Israel. What's going down? It's y'all neighborhood Hebrew. All right. The Rosh Baraka. I'm tapping in with y'all, letting y'all know. Um, all of what we're supposed to be doing as far as the scriptures go. Um, and, uh, yeah, I know I've been going for a while. You know what I mean? Uh, getting things in order. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we still staying in the scripts. We still doing that script talk. You know, so we back at it. Um, if y'all want updates... Please click the link in my bios, whether it be on my Facebook or my Instagram page, uh, Darash Baraka, or on Facebook, Darash the King Baraka. Um, go ahead and uh, just yeah, just hit the uh, subscribe button, and uh, so y'all can get the updates. Um, so I don't have to keep reminding y'all because I don't even like doing all the promo and stuff. I just like getting to it. But um, I do know that some of y'all are looking. To follow some of it, all right. So we gonna um, make sure that we stay in here with it, and um, that y'all are able to follow, um, and even uh, you know get a little bit of you know knowledge and uh, follow along. So uh, again, we giving all praises to the Father, okay? Abba Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Babakadesh, okay? All right. So we got to give all the glory to the Father always, all day, through all your good times and your bad. All right? That's what we have to understand. So that's what we're doing. That's what we out here doing. Y'all do hear my babies back there running around because they're going to get this lesson while they eat their dinner. All right? So we're going to go ahead and crack to it. Um, so today we're talking about being jealous. I actually wrote it wrong. Being jealous and having jealousy. All right? Now, we need to understand some things, all right? We need to understand some things. Um, give me one second. It's like here. Babies, y'all yeah. need to be quiet. Okay, stop all that yelling. And do not come running in and out of this house. Do you understand me? Yeah. Okay. All right. So back to it. Uh, we're talking about jealousy, all right? Being jealous, having jealousy towards one another. So you know where we starting from. We start from Genesis chapter 4, verse 3 through 8. Okay? And in process, and in process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought out of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Most High. And Abel he also brought out of the firstlings of his flock, and of the fat thereof. And the Most High had respect unto Abel and to his offering. But unto Cain and to his offering he had no respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. And the Most High said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth, and why is thy countenance fallen? If thou do well, thou shalt not be accepted. And if thou dost not well, Sin lieth at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. And Cain talked with Abel, his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him. Now, we're talking about being jealous and having jealousy. Okay. So, when the Most High had respect towards Abel, when the Most High had respect towards Abel, right then and there, Cain was being jealous, okay? Now, having his jealousy led him to kill Abel, right? Because the Most High said, man, look, if you're doing well, if you're doing well, there's no reason, there was no reason at all to be worried, okay? Today was his day. Okay, now had he been patient, tomorrow would have been Cain's day, you know, and so, so on and so forth. Okay, that's what would have happened. But, but he did not, and he allowed the jealousy to enter into his heart. Okay, he allowed that jealousy to enter into his heart, and what it did was it consumed him. The jealousy, the envy, the covetousness, okay? Because he coveted, he wanted what Abel had got, right? 
which led to his jealousy, okay? In the midst of envy. He envied everything that his brother got. And the, res and the result was jealousy. Mind you, all these words coincide with one another. Covetousness, enviousness, jealousy. All goes hand in hand, but they're steps, okay? They're steps to um, in these things. When you covet somebody, oh, yeah, man, I see what they got over there. I see what they got over there, man. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Now, that nice turns into, man, that's something that I wish I could have. You know what I'm saying? Man, I'm, man, man, I'm on what they got. And then that jealousy come in, and man, man, I should have what they have. I should have it. You know what I'm saying? So did you see the breakdown of the steps? Those all coincide with one another. Okay? So now... And, and, and these are the things, and this is why I came to this passage to show you. This is the first time we see covetousness, enviousness, and jealousy right here. Okay, this is the first time in the scriptures we actually see that. Okay? Well, really, we see it with, uh, with the serpent, you know what I'm saying, chopping up with Eve because he was jealous that he had to, <laughs> he was below them. He was mad at that. But um, this is a more clear cut understanding the scripture right here that I could find. I could be wrong, there could be more before that, but this is the one that I know stuck out to everybody's head, so I'm going to bring that out. Now we're going to go and just jump into the law. We're going to jump into these commandments, okay? And, and, and we're going to get a breakdown on, on this covetousness, to covet, okay? We're going to Exodus chapter 20, verse 17. Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's house, Thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, and anything that is in thy neighbor's, or that is thy neighbor's, like it. Okay? Once again, you shouldn't even be looking at nobody else's stuff like you want it. No. Hey, man, that's, that's a dope car. Um, oh, yeah, man, yeah. I see you got that money, man. All praises to you, man. All praises to the Most High for blessing you with that. Okay? But that ain't mine. That don't belong to me. I'm going to get my just due when the Most High prepares it, when the Most High brings it on in. Okay? So that's the focus on that. And that's a law. That's a commandment. Now we're going to go to Psalms 37 and 7. Go to Psalms. Book of Psalms, chapter 37 and 7. It says, and it reads, Rest in the Most High and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Okay? So, right here it says, Rest in the, rest in the Most High. So that's what our focus should be. Our focus should be resting in him. That's where we're going to find comfort. That's where we're going to find understanding. That's where we're going to get rest. Okay? Rest in the Most High. The Most High does not mince these words. Okay? And wait patiently for him. And be patient on him. But only keep your eyes focused on him. Not on what somebody else is doing. Fret not. Okay? Fret not. Right? Fret not means don't worry, okay? Don't worry thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. So don't worry about what everybody else has got and what they doing. Don't worry about none of that because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Now, the enemy has brought wicked devices to pass, right? We've seen all these super smart cars. We've seen all this, all this uh, man has created money. Man, all these are wicked devices. Even our cell phones, they're wicked devices. You feel me? It distracts us from the most high, okay? Distracts us from the most high. So at this point, real quick, I got to go check them babies real quick. So um, we're going to get right back to it. Y'all go ahead and jump over to Proverbs 27 and 4. So like it. Damn. 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 Damn.
I say to be quiet? Didn't I say to be quiet? I shouldn't hear nobody speaking to me else. Nobody. Okay? All right. Be quiet. Okay, so we back. We back at uh, Proverbs twenty seven and four. Proverbs chapter twenty seven, verse four. Wrath is cruel and anger is outrageous, but who is able to stand before envy? Okay, wrath is cruel. All right, so wrath can be looked at as what? Judgment or discipline, right? Because you catch the wrath of the Father, right? From what you're doing. Discipline and judgment, okay? And anger is outrageous. Anger is outrageous. So to be mad is to be an outraged, okay? And, and it's going to lead you to make bad decisions in your anger, okay? But who is able to stand before envy? Okay, your envious or your, your, your jealousy will hit you at some point in your life. Who is able to stand before it? Okay, the righteous are, the righteous are. So if you follow in the will of the Father, you're going to be able to see that coming and be the other way with it. We ain't even tripping off that. You know what I'm saying? We are not dealing with that because we focused on the Father where we rest in it. Okay, which is the precept that we read just before. We focusing on the Father and the kingdom. So we ain't got time to be dealing with being envious of what you got or what you got. None of that matters. None of it matters. You understand what I'm saying? So we have to focus. We have to focus real tough like on what needs to be done. Okay? What needs to be done? And what needs to be done is alleviating covetousness enviousness and jealousy remember this topic today is about being jealous having jealousy okay being jealous and having jealousy towards someone else all right so these things will lead you to getting that wrath okay jealousy will lead you to getting that wrath that judgment that discipline okay and jealousy will also put you in a line of rage anger you will be outrageous you will be acting foolishly okay so now let's break it on down let's go back um to the book of job chapter 5 verse 2 okay i go that wrath again okay job chapter 5 verse 2 for wrath killeth the foolish man and envy slayeth the silly one okay there goes that wrath again there goes that judgment, that discipline again for wrath, judgment, discipline, killeth the foolish man. So the wrath is that most high going to lay that jackhammer on a foolish man that keeps doing foolish things. Okay. Because that ish in the back of that, that uh, foolish. Okay. The ish means to act as a fool. Okay. The man wasn't a fool. He was acting foolish and he kept living that way. You understand that? Kept living that way. He could have changed, but he didn't. So the Most High sent his wrath on him. Okay? And envy slayeth the silly one. Like I said, when we're not focusing on the Most High, it's allowing for covetousness, envious, and jealousy to seep in. Now, you are, you are being silly. You Man, you don't know which way you want to go. Oh, man, you know what I'm saying? Why? Because you're only following the lust of your heart. Okay? You thinking that your heart is telling you all the right things. No, the discernment, the Holy Spirit, that Rawawak, okay, is telling you, the Ruach, the Holy Spirit is telling you what to do. Okay? So we need to pay attention to that. That's your discernment. All right, that's your discernment because envy slayeth the silly one. Okay, who's silly? Who's playing games? 
the one who's not focused, the one who's in your classroom being a class clown, the one who's amongst you and your brothers, but they want to joke and laugh all the time, but they don't know when to be serious and buckle down. You know what I'm saying? Because when we're focusing on the larger picture, the bigger picture, we need to focus on the most high. Okay? Keep his laws, his commandments. Repent from the silly stuff. Repent from the wicked stuff. Repent from the jealousy. Repent from the envious. Okay? Repent, 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 and come on back. Now, we're constantly going to be repenting for things that we are going through. But we're not about to be dealing with no jealousy because jealousy going to bring hate, okay? That's what's wrong with this whole world right now. A bunch of hate read it off of jealousy, envious, covetousness, okay? So we got to get away from that. We got to get away from that. We got to focus on the most high. For those who say you love the most high, it's time to wake up and repent and start doing what he said, Okay? Get in that water, come meet up with some of your brew partners, your brothers, you know, whoever they might be, man, and get dipped. Get dipped and start following the ways of the Most High, okay? Now we're going to end it off. Um, I didn't want to go too long on y'all on this one because, uh, I mean, it's pretty clear cut. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty clear cut. Everybody already knows not to do this, but we still fall short. You know what I'm saying? And we still go through these things. So now we're going to go to the book of James. Chapter 4, verse 5. Do ye think that the scripture saith in vain? The scripture that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy. Okay? Do ye think that the scripture saith in vain? Okay? The scriptures is the law, right? Which is a spiritual thing that we must do in the physical. Okay? We must do this in the physical, okay? Now, by vain, that would mean that the word ain't what it says it is. It ain't what it says it could give you, what it could provide for you. You know, when you go look in uh, the book of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16, you'll see why this book and these scriptures are what we believe in. Because it's all profitable for doctrine. It's all goodness to grow off. It's good fruit. Okay? So this is not a vain thing. It's not said in vain. Okay? It's not said in vain. Everything, if you follow this, everything that you follow and do from this book, you will get those good fruits. Okay? And the spirit that dwelleth in us lusts to envy? That's right. All of us are dealing in the flesh, okay? That's why your birthdays ain't cool, because you're born into this wicked world. You're born into the wicked ways of how things are going to go. So the spirit that dwells in you, okay, is the most high, okay, the Holy Spirit, right? But now before you go to the Holy Spirit, before you find the most high, the truth of the most high, your spirit is attached to lust, what you desire, over the most high, okay? Over the most high. Uh, many of you say, oh, man, you know, I'm, I'm just doing my own thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, I believe in what you're talking about. Oh, yeah, I feel you. I feel you, bro. But I'm just doing my own thing, okay? You're doing your own thing. So the spirit that dwelleth in you lusteth, does it lust to envy? Right. No, nobody wants to come out right out and say, hey, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I see what they got. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want that. I want that. No, nah, they gonna come right out and say that. But when they go home, they're going to be thinking that. Oh, yeah, man, I want what they got. Babe, babe, did you see what they got, man? You know what I'm saying? We got to get one of those. We got to get one of those. No, nah, that's not how we're supposed to be operating. You, you want, what, what you want should be only what you need. And that's the most high and allow him to lay them blessings upon you. Okay. So with that being said, this is what this is all about. You know, if something isn't working, it's just because we want to get the benefits, but only do half to none of the work. That's what a lot of us go through. A lot of us go through that. We want, we want everything that the Bible tells us for us, 
But we don't want to do what it say. Or we want to do just a little bit. We want to pick and choose out the book. Oh, no, that's not what that means to me. That's not what that means to me. My pastor, my priest, my whoever taught me. That's not what it means to me. What does it say? What does it say? And when we get that answer, then we good. Then we good. Because it's the truth. Because it, it, it'll say it again. And again. And again. And again. It just says, I brought these precepts, line them up for you. So you can see that the spirit that lies in you right now, okay, not the spirit that you're supposed to be tapping into, the spirit that you're allowing to operate, okay, without doing what the book said, will lead you to lust and envious, which is jealousy. So, you got to break away from the chains of Babylon, period. Break away from them heathen ways, okay? Whether you be a true Hebrew or you be a Gentile, okay? Whatever it is, you need to follow the ways of the Most High, period. We're reading the same Bible. We just went through all the same scriptures that I did, okay? Time to get back into what the scriptures say. Okay? So with that being said, we give all praise due to the most high. Alright? The Wada Abba Yahweh. Alright? By Hashem. Yeshaya Hamashiach. Alright? By Hashem. Mawak. Kadesh. Alright? We give all praises due to the Father, through the Son, and His Holy Spirit. Alright? Um... Once again, this is Script Talk with your neighborhood Hebrew. Click the link in uh, my bios if you've seen this on Facebook or Instagram. And subscribe to the channel so you can be updated on all videos that get uploaded in the future. Um, Salakia for my slackness. Um, you know, we all got to uh, tighten up our walk. Um, but I'm definitely going to be getting back on it. Um, most high willing every day. But uh, if I do slip up, you know, forgive me for not giving you them uh, them good fruits, the good nuggets. But um, hey, shallow bomb, shallow bomb, shallow bomb.